What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. So what's up you guys? Hey, how you doing? What's up? If you are new to this channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Yes, hit that subscribe button. Click the post notifications bell so you can get notified when I upload. And also like this video, comment, share, do what you gotta do. Tell your family, tell your cousins, tell your friends about this channel because it's going up, only up from here. Also, if you are a returning subscriber, what's up gang? Make sure you guys like, comment, share y'all know the drill if you guys follow my socials they'll be here or here or in the description box below follow me on instagram follow me on twitter follow me on snapchat make sure you guys spam my instagram we love because you know i love posting pictures on instagram <laughs> hey, this video is highly requested i'm gonna go through some of my dms and even like screenshot how many people ask me how to be a body girl how do we, how do, how do I start being a bottle girl? What are the comments of being a bottle girl? What do you have to do? Here I am with a bottle girl series to let you guys know everything. Now, it's a lot that go into being a bottle girl. Yes, we get cute. Yes, it's a fun job, but it's still work at the end of the day. Because it's a lot of information, I'm gonna break this series up into pretty much like four videos so far, four videos, but this video is a video on how to become a bottle girl. And I'm also kind of gonna kind of touch basis on like, you know, when you do become a bottle girl, what's next? I have like other videos that I'm gonna do that can, you know, actually help you when you do get into being a bottle girl. So yes, I'm here, finally here with the video. Um, I've been putting this video off for a long time because I really wanted to kind of get my experience in the game first before I just come on here telling y'all stuff because obviously, obviously y'all want to know the tea. Y'all want to know what's up. Y'all want to know what's good. I did just get off work, so I got my little ones, y'all. Okay, looking cute. Makeup, hair, done, okay? So I was like, I just got off work today. Um, just It was my first day at this new job, just training or whatever. So I was like, let me go, because I was posting from today and a lot of people was asking me, so I'm like, you know what? I'm cute already, so let me just... Let's just go ahead and get this video out the way. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about how to become a bottle girl and when you do get hired, you know, what's next. There's some more things that I do not touch in this video. Do not hesitate to comment below and I'll probably get to it in the next video. But without further ado, here are um, some tips on how to become a bottle girl. So first things first is how to find clubs. So there are different types of clubs you can work at being a bottle girl. You can work at a restaurant and lounge. So it's more of like a restaurant and you know, people can come in, they can eat, they can smoke hookah and they can, you know, pop a bottle if they want to. That's a restaurant and lounge. Then you have your regular clubs, which is, you know, they come, they book sections, they pop bottles, they might have like little food, like chicken wings, shrimp, lamb chops, you know, just for like a cool vibe. And then you have a strip club where you can also be a bottle girl. So those are like your three types of clubs that you can be bottle girl. If I'm missing one, then um, I'm sorry, but those are the main three, a restaurant and lounge, a lounge slash club, and a strip club. Those are the three types of clubs that you can be a bottle girl at. Distinguish what type of bottle girl you want to be in what type of club. So do you want to work at a restaurant and lounge? Or do you want to work at a lounge slash club? Or do you want to work at a strip club? Like figure out which type of club you would like to work at. And you could do this by going to the clubs and just peeping the vibe. That's a lot of people give you that's that's really the main thing. Before you decide that you want to work in a certain club, go up there, see if that's a vibe that you you can see yourself working in. And you can tell like just by being a customer, you could be like, Oh, I think I could work here. That's how you, you know, find out. Restaurant and lounges aren't for everybody. Clubs and lounges aren't for everybody. And strip clubs are not for everybody. Find out what's your type of, you know, vibe that you want to work in because you do not want to be somewhere you're unhappy. Trust me, I've been there. I've done that. Make sure you figure out what's your vibe, where you can see yourself working, and go up there. How to know if they're hiring. So a good way to know if they're hiring is A, like I said, go up there, feel the vibe. You can also ask one of the managers, ask some of the other girls that's working there, and just to ask if they're hiring. Um, you could say you're looking for a server um, position if it's like a restaurant and lounge, or if it's a club and lounge, server, bottle girls, it's pretty much the same thing. That's all it is. A bottle girl is nothing but a server who brings out bottles, child. Don't make it like, 
that's pretty much all it is. That's pretty much all it is. So make sure you know you know if they're hiring, you could go up there. Or a lot of clubs and restaurants and lounges and strip clubs, all that, all those types of clubs, they have Instagrams that, and it'll let you know if they're hiring. So that's like the first tip to figure out if they're hiring. The second tip I have for you guys is now. I'm going to just be honest with you guys. You need experience to work into a club. Depending on what city you're in. Because you could be like in Memphis. You, like in Memphis, um, I didn't have club experience. However, I had restaurant experience, server experience. You want to make sure you have experience. Um, whether, as, whether that's working like, you know, at a regular restaurant or, or sports bar. Me, um, actually, let's, let's, let me give you a quick backstory. The reason why I started being a bottle girl is pretty much because number one, I wanted the quick money. I will say it's quick money, it's fast money, it's, it's money in the club for sure. However, you have to be quick. Like, don't jump off like you never served before, you never been in a, you never served at a restaurant, you never served, served at a sports bar, and you just want to work in a club. Yeah, they could work at some clubs, but if you're trying to be at a bigger club, a more fast paced club, you need experience. And what I would say is, if you don't want to, yeah, you got to start somewhere, but at least start working at places like Hooters and Buffalo Wild Wings. I worked at both Hooters for like a day or two, and then I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings, and that was like my service experience, and so. It was like a club that was like down the street um, from my job and also from my house. So well, when I move back to Atlanta, I want to be like a bottle girl. So let me see if I can get my experience here in Memphis first before I go back to Atlanta. Because I'm not going to lie. In Atlanta, you need experience to work out in these clubs. If you're in Atlanta, you need experience. Like they want to see resume off top. So that's the reason why I said just make sure you have a resume and make sure you have experience. Working at the club in Memphis and, you know, I got my experience up. If you cannot find a club that will allow you to work without experience, try maybe a sports bar or a regular restaurant. Not even just for them to see that you got experience, but you need it for yourself because working at a club, yes, like I said, it's, it's, it's cute, you get to be cute, it's fun, yeah, but it's still very much fast paced and it takes a lot. Like being a bottle girl, it takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of, it's, it's a lot, like it's a lot, but I'm getting to it in another video. So just, that's my second tip. Just make sure you have experience. Um, I suggest starting off at a regular restaurant or a sports bar. Um, like I said, I started off, you could do Hooters, you could do Buffalo Wild Wings or any other sports bar, or you could do one like Chili's, Texas Roadhouse. Try to get your server experience up. And I'm telling you, this is gonna make it so much better because when you walk into a club and you already know how to serve, it's just gonna make it 100% better. Because like I said, being a bottle girl is nothing but being a server. Yeah, you might not wanna just be a regular server, but to get that experience up, that's what you're gonna need, so. That's my second tip. My third tip on how to become a bottle girl, of course, obviously, is the interview process. Look on Instagram and they're doing interviews. Ways it could go. One way you could go up there and ask and they tell you come back for an interview or it's an open call. So if you're just going up there for an interview, make sure you have your resume, make sure you look cute, hair and makeup ready. Make sure you know they might ask you for five tequilas, five cognacs, or five vodkas. Make sure you know your liquor. That's why I said, going back to what I said, make sure you know, make sure you know what you're talking about. Make sure you have some experience in restaurants and you know, even if you worked in a lounge before, just make sure you know what you're talking about. It's an open call, same thing, make sure, cause there's gonna be other girls there, so you wanna stand out. Make sure you have your makeup done, make sure your hair is done, make sure you have a cute outfit, cause open calls, it's gonna be other girls there, obviously. So you wanna make sure you leave a good impression, make sure you bring a resume. Like I said, nine times out of 10, if this is an open call, they nine times out of 10, they want people with experience. So do not lie about your experience because it's gonna reflect on training or when you get there. So that's why I say make sure you guys have experience. Do not just jump into the club scene without experience. I'm telling you, like, don't do it to yourself. The reason why, like, if y'all could go back to my um, first bottle girl vlog when I uh, did like my first days being a bottle girl. Only reason why I did so good that day is because I had server experience. I was doing the same exact thing. I was working at Buffalo Wild Wings and I was working at the club. So it was literally the same thing. It was just two different scenes. That's all it is. So make sure make sure you just have everything. They're also gonna probably ask for a picture too. So make sure you guys have a resume and a picture attached. 
at the interview. Um, make sure you know what you're talking about. Just be honest. If you don't have experience, let them know that because it's going to reflect. Also, during the interview process, make sure you are vocal about what days you can work, what days you can't work because club life, you know, different club want different things. And you know, some clubs might require you to work this amount of these days and you might have to book sessions for these days. So that's why I said like restaurant and lounges, they pretty don't they pretty much don't do that. But clubs, they might want you to bring in people so on um, you know, busy days. So make sure you let them know what days you can and cannot work. So that's the interview process. Um be cute, be yourself. That's pretty it's it's nothing to it. Just be yourself, be cute. The fourth tip I have is the training process. So if you do get hired, you're going to go through training. Training, they're probably going to make you wear like all black. Nine times out of ten, restaurant lounge. Nine times out of ten, wherever you work, they're going to probably make you wear all black until, you know, you get your uniform or whatever. Yeah, you're going to wear all black. Um, training days are normally some some clubs, and they might pay you for training days. But nine times out of ten, the clubs that I've been at, training days are unpaid. I'm just be, I'm just keep it real right here. Majority of the clubs, restaurant and lounges, you do not get hourly pay. You do not get hourly pay. You just pretty much get, you know, your tips. So training is going to be unpaid. Make sure you're asking all the questions. I'm going to be honest. If you have another bottle girl or another server training you, she's only going to tell you how to work their system. So I'm like, you might have a server. Her name is, let's say her name is Ashley. Ashley is only going to tell you where everything is, how to ring this up. This, that, and the third. She is not going to actually give you the game. I'm going to have a separate video for a bottle girl game and like actually how to make your money in a club. That's a separate video. So when training, make sure you ask all the questions you need to ask. Make sure you are observant. Please, if once you start training, just observe. That's the best way I could put it until I touch with everything I want to say in the video. But make sure you're observant. Like I said, Ashley probably only gonna teach you how to ring in this in their system, um, where to find the bottles, um, um, where to find your food tickets, you know, if they need food or whatever, um, where to find a hookah girl, you know, stuff like that. She's gonna teach you the things around the club. She's not gonna actually teach you. So make sure you are being observant during training. Next tip I have is pretty much what to wear. In most clubs for interviews, you can wear all black, make it cute, put on heels. Um, when for training, they probably want you to have all black. I will show y'all kind of what I got on right now. It's not on all the way, but it's just this black one piece. Um, I got this from Fashion Nova. Y'all know I love me some Fashion Nova. But yes, it's black one piece, and I had it on with fishness. I will insert a picture here so you guys can see. Make sure you guys go like that picture, by the way. <laughs> but first on the lounge, they probably don't want you to have your butt out, so you might have to wear like booty shorts if you can, or biker shorts. I do have on like some black biker shorts though. Um, but this is a one piece. I had this on with some fishnets earlier, but I'm at home, I'm chilling, so I just got my little biker shorts on. But you can wear that, you can wear sneakers. Um, they might want you to wear your uniforms on certain days. They may be on the weekends. Y'all might buy a uniform. So also understand that when you are becoming a bottle girl, it is going to be expensive because you have to keep yourself up. Y'all see I have my nails done. Y'all see my makeup is done and my hair is done. Luckily, I do my own makeup and hair. But let's talk about that. Let's talk about the bottle girl appearance. Working in a club, no matter what you do, you want to look good. Now, like I was telling some of my other co-workers at my old job, looking your best might not be makeup, like a full face of makeup, but at least don't look like you roll out the bed. Don't go to work with a hat on. Don't go to work with your hair not done. Don't go to work um, with your makeup, you know, looking all crazy. Look good. It's going to reflect. Your nails, they don't have to be done all the time, but, you know, just make sure you're keeping yourself up, you know. Working in the club is another bill itself because you want to look the part. Like, I'm just being completely honest with you. And it does, one thing I can say, it does play a part in your tips. Like, I'm just going to be honest. I'm very pretty. Yes, I'm, I can work my ass off in the club or at a restaurant in the lounge. Wherever I'm at, I'm going to work my ass off, period. But them them tips gonna reflect just cause I'm pretty. So make sure you guys look the look the best you can. You might not 
be a makeup wearer that's fine but you know at least make sure your hair is looking good make sure your skin if you don't wear makeup make sure your skin is glowing make sure your outfit is cute don't have it wrinkly you know what i'm saying just look good you know that's another tip um and to sum everything up, I'm just going to give y'all a brief summary on like what your days and night shifts are going to be looking like. Day shifts are normally more chill. So people coming in, they probably just want to eat, smoke them some hookah. Um, they want to, you know, chill out. They just, they just want to chill. You might have people that might pop a bottle or two during the day. You know, that's your day shift. Now your night shift is going to be a little hectic. I'm going to just be honest. Night shift gets crazy no matter where you're what club you're at it's gonna get crazy you won't depend on what day it is obviously weekend or like a tuesday tuesday seem to pop at every club because you know the two out tuesday taco tuesday just make sure you guys are prepared for being worn out that's the best way i could put it you're going to be worn out because you're going to be going to this section you're going to that section this table this table make sure make sure this person got their shots make sure this person got their bottles oh they might need chases with their bottles that's why i said it goes back to making sure you have experience in serving because it is a lot um you might have to go some clubs and restaurant lounges probably open up at like 11 or 12 and then you might stay to about like 7 or 8 if you have like a day shift if you have a night shift you might come in at about 6 probably stay to probably about like 12 1 2 3 maybe so just make sure those hours work for you but so that's pretty much all i have on my list but pretty much to sum everything up how to become a bottle girl is know what you're doing it for um if you're one of them people that feel like you just want to work in a club just because it's cute, it's quick money, and you just want to be around niggas, and you just want to look cute, it's not the job for you. I'm going to tell you, I see people do it all the time. I see people come into these clubs, they just want to be cute, they just want to drink, they just like the lifestyle, but they really don't want They really don't want to make no money. And you can tell, you can tell, like at my old job, I could tell what girls was there to work and what girls was there just because they liked the lifestyle. Like, they didn't even want to go out on the floor and get them no money for real. Like, I'm just being completely honest with y'all. Like I said, I keep it real raw and 100 on my channel. So, make sure you guys know what you're going into these clubs for. Like, if you want to work at the club, it's cool. But make sure you, you the number one priority on your mind is the money. If you feel like you got to have a shot every shift, you, you got to be dancing, you got to be lit, it's probably not the industry for you because you have to be focused. You have to know what you're doing it for. You have to make your money. You have to you have to stay focused because being in the nightlife can get draining. It's a lot of different energies coming in and out of the club. Everybody know everybody. Everybody want to be somebody. Everybody want to look like somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's just that. Um... As far as like your co-workers, girls, I haven't had any issues with like girls, you know, hating or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure some clubs, when you're the new girl, ooh, yes, let me touch on that. So being a new girl at a club, all I could say is just try to put yourself out there. It, the old girls, they're going to probably look at you like, who this bitch thinks she is? She can't, she can't see what it is. Who this bitch thinks she is? She thinks she's going to last. She ain't going to last today. Go up to them, girls, like, hey, my name is Jay. What's your name? Oh, you like it here? How long you been here? You know, just make yourself friendly. Like, just just be friendly. And another thing, if you are a shy person, baby, do not try to work at a club. If you think that looks is going to get your money, yes, looks do play a part, like I said. But if you think that you just want to get money just because you're pretty, get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Please, because they, they it, it don't work like that. You cannot be shy working in a club. If you shy, if you're scared to go up to people, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't like talking to people, if you look like you mean, if you don't, if you lazy, do not go work in a club. I'm telling you, like all of that is gonna reflect. Like that's the best way I can put it. Sum up everything I said. Make sure you guys go to a club, see if they're hiring. If they're hiring. Um, set you up an interview if they're not doing interviews at the time look at the instagrams for open calls if you do go to open call make sure you come cute hair and makeup ready bring your resume bring a picture be honest in your interview make sure you know what you're talking about be friendly do your research on the clubs um know your prices um what else and yeah just be yourself like being the bottle girl i've only been the bottle girl since about the beginning of this year 
I love it. I love it. I will say I love it. Um, it's, it's definitely for me because of my personality. And I know how to turn it off and turn it on. Um, but what I will say is it's not that easy. If, you're, if you've never been in a restaurant before, if you don't know how to serve, try to make sure you can at least get you some experience if you can. If you can't, then try to go to a club that might take you just they might take you without experience because the majority of the clubs especially in Atlanta because I know I get a lot of girls that say they want to buy the girls out here you have to have experience out here um in other cities I'm not sure like I said in Memphis it's Memphis you know you just got to go to the right club still no still make sure you have experience though even in a regular restaurant like a lot of people can catch on like I know in my old club this girl she said she didn't have experience working at a club before but she caught on because it was a smaller club so like if you don't have experience but you just want to go ahead and start working in the club go to a smaller club don't try to go to a big club because nine times out of ten the bigger clubs with bigger names are going to want people with experience so yes guys that's just a brief summary on how to become a body girl and kind of like if you like what to expect on being a body girl like i said i'm gonna break this series up into some more videos to tell y'all the do's and the don'ts i'm also gonna tell you what clubs that you can work at if you're in the atlanta area and also you know how to actually make your money in a club so if you guys want to know anything about those videos make sure you guys hit that post notifications bell so you can get notified when i upload a video stay tuned like comment share and i will see you guys in the next one